do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let us move to the next question of paper 2 that is question number 20 in this question we will discuss about the concepts and the solution of question number 20 that is the second question of paper 2 Friends, let us solve the next question, that is question number 20. Consider regular polygons with number of sides 3, 4, 5, like 3 sides, 4 sides, 5 sides, it can have 6 sides, 7 sides, any number of sides, say n number of sides are shown in figure. The center of mass of all the polygons is at a height h from the ground suppose that this is a triangle and uh, its center of mass is at height h from the ground this is the ground so at the height h this is a square and uh, it might be a square might be a rectangle it is at a height h as shown in figure a regular polygon so side is same so it is a square so this side is h similarly it is a, a regular pentagon having five sides so its height also is h uh, which uh, points to the center of mass from the base level that is ground you can have a uh, more number of sides of regular polygons the center of mass is given at h above the ground for all those polygons, they roll on a horizontal surface. So rolling is a, is a, you can talk about, it is instantaneous uh, rotation about a particular point. Uh, so rolling uh, here, there is no sliding or uh, uh, skidding. The roll on a, so it's rolling is like that. So to roll without slipping, the roll on the, horizontal surface uh, about the leading vertex so it is rolling like this one so it will, it will just turn like this and similarly this uh, square will turn about this point and it will become this at any later instant so this is how there is shown any later instant the position of this uh, triangle after a certain later instant it will become like that by doing so the height of uh, the center of mass will change without slipping and uh, the the roll without slipping and sliding as depicted now the maximum increase in height of the locus of the center of mass of the each polygon is delta so this delta represents the increase or change in the central mass height of the central mass now initially it was height h so during the turning the central mass will follow a particular path and it becomes maximum at a certain point this is the locus of the central mass and uh, it becomes maximum at a point and that maximum distance minus the initial distance that is the change in the center of mass and that is represented by delta the maximum increase in height is delta of the center of mass then delta depends on h and depends on n and h as follows which of the following option is correct the n and h n represents the number of sides h is the uh, height of the center of mass from the ground in the initial state when it was not rotating or uh, not rolling in fact so how they are related so first of all uh, let us say that uh, if i consider for understanding i will consider a hexagon hexagon
you can consider any number side here i consider the hexagon a regular hexagon so it is having n equals to six you can have uh, any number of sides in fact we know that uh, the any side this side or this side or this side any side if this is the center the it will project an angle of each side will project at the center an angle this angle the angle is uh, I write this angle as total 2 pi divided by number of sides. This is the angle that is projected. Suppose this angle is uh, alpha, then this alpha is this. What is alpha? Alpha is the angle projected by the sides at the center. So for a hexagon, if I talk about this n is equal to 6, then this alpha equals to for this one. This is 2 pi divided by 6, that is pi by 3. So this projects angle 60 degree, this will also project 60 degree, this will also project 60 degree, this will also project 60 degree, this will project 60, this will project 60, total will be 360. So it should be 360, pi by 3. If I divide this or bisect this angle then uh, this part only will be pi by 3 this is pi by 6 this will be pi by 6 half of that total angle is pi by 6 now this is my height h now this is the height h but when it turns about this point this line will become straight you can imagine that if this whole thing turns about this then this the the center mass will remain the same point but the position of <coughs> the center mass from the ground will be what because this will be there always but when this turns this line this line will become like this this line will become like this when this line becomes vertical then that is the maximum height of the center of mass so that means from this point to this point the center of mass suppose initially it was uh, at this height as you can see now it will become this height so this will be the locus the locus is like that and it will become again like that so this is the maximum height. and what we are interested in is this height suppose this height is suppose uh, h dash initially it was h and uh, we are interested in the difference in this so we are interested in this this length this length is delta this length is delta this delta we have to find there are four options given for delta and we have to find for delta so if we can find uh, for this that this length is suppose it's just that i don't know but then i write this distance in terms of this distance which is given as h this is h dash if you look at this triangle this triangle this is h dash so this is a uh, h dash so i'll draw it here this is my h this is my h dash because this has to be like that after some time and this angle is pi by six this angle is pi by 6 for here for uh, this case let me solve first then we'll go to the other one if this angle is pi by 6 then uh, this angle is pi by 6 then this is h dash this h dash and this is uh, pi by 6 this will be h dash cos of pi by 6 so h is 
h dash cos of pi by 6. So from here I'll get uh, my h dash which is h by cos of pi by 6. Then I can subtract this 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 h from here. If I solve it then uh, for this regular hexagon h dash minus h this is delta which will become h divided by cos of pi by 6 minus h which is h common this is 1 divided by cos of pi by 6 so h divided uh, cos pi by 6 cos pi by 6 is uh, cos 30 cos 30 is uh, cos 30 is root 3 divided by 2 2 will come up and this is minus 1 this will become uh, h of uh, 2 minus root 3 divided by root 3. This is uh, for hexagon and for others also. Now we can uh, put these uh, values uh, anywhere. If I put that angle as uh, pi by 6 over any of the expressions, if I am getting this, then it's okay. So this way also I can try. If I put, suppose I option number one I will take. Option number one says that delta h delta is equal to h uh, sine square pi by n. So if I put n equals to this one six here because it is a hexagon six pi by six, then it is a uh, uh, pi by 6 is uh, root 3 sine pi by 6 is sine 30 sine 30 is half 30 is 1 by 4 this is not matching with this one so this is not correct second option if i choose the second option the second option says delta equals to h of 1 over cos pi by n minus 1 if i put uh, n equals to 6 over there then i am getting cos of pi over 6 minus 1 this is okay because this one and that one is same. So this option is correct. That means this is a general expression. This should be the general expression that is correct. And uh, this expression, that expression, if I put, I will not get this one. Only this one is matching with this. So that is correct. Or otherwise, what we should have done is that. There is another way to do this. The other way is that when i consider uh, this one i will not take this angle at pi by 6 here for any polygon the angle should be if it is uh, i not i'm not going to put this value of n here 6 over here i'll keep it as it is suppose it is n then this is uh, alpha is uh, 2 pi by 6 that is pi by 3 i am not going to solve this i am writing that alpha is this but what about this one this is alpha by 2 this is nothing but alpha by 2 so i will find what is alpha by 2 and substitute here because uh, this angle is required that is alpha by 2 but my alpha for n polygons this alpha is 2 pi by n and alpha by 2 becomes pi by n so this angle is pi by n so i can take like that i can consider this as h this is h and this angle is pi by n so if i do that but what i'll get this uh, h dash cos of pi by n becomes equals to h or h dash is h over cos of pi by n so delta is h dash minus h that is h over cos of pi by n minus h h being common this is 1 upon cos pi by n minus 1 this is the general expression for delta i'm getting which is nothing but the option number 2 you can get this way also or you can find the delta for any type of uh, hexagon or polygon polygon regular polygon and substitute in any of the one of the options whichever option matches that is the general expression so therefore the option number two is correct okay thank you